welcome this is your Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation so let's get going problem solve d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equals to 1 plus e power minus x whole square solution given differential equation d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equals to 1 plus e power minus x whole square. Right? Now let's find the order and degree of the given equation. We can write the above equation as d square y minus 2dy plus 1 into y y equals to 1 plus e power minus x whole square. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then d square equals to d square by dx square. Then we can write this as d square y by dx square minus 2 into dy by dx plus y equals to 1 plus e power minus x whole square. Now identify the highest derivative here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So here our degree is 1. So we are given a differential equation in operator form. Right? Which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 1 and 2 equals to 1 plus e power minus x whole square. Right? Now we need to find the general solution to the given non-homogeneous equation using y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function and yp is a particular integral. We will get yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the non-homogeneous equation. By taking RHS to 0, we will get f of d into y equals to 0, our homogeneous equation. Right. Now, also, okay, we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Right. Now, let's find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we are having f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 1 right. Let's replace the differential operator by m then you will get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 1. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0. Right. Now split or you can just write this as m square minus 2 into m into 1 plus 1 square which is equals to okay, which is in a square minus 2ab plus b square form. That is a minus b whole square form m minus 1 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Right. You can write m minus 1 whole square as m minus 1 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Now, equate each factor to 0. If you equate m minus 1 to 0, you will get m equals to 1. And from this also, you will get m equals to 1. Right. So, you will get m equals to 1 and 1. Here we are having two roots which are equal. Or you can just factorize this fraction m square minus you can split minus 2m as minus m minus m plus 1 equals to 0. Then take m common from the first two terms, you will get m times m minus 1, and take minus 1 common from the next two terms, you will get minus of m minus 1 equals to 0. 
You notice we are having a minus 1 in both the terms. So let's take a minus 1 common from these two terms. We'll get a minus 1 times m minus 1 equals to 0. If you equate each factor to 0, you get m equals to 1, 1. Okay. Are the roots of f of m equals to 0, which are equal? Which are equal. We know that when two roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2, then our complementary function will be c1 plus c2x into e power m1 that equal root into x, right? Now using this, we'll write the complementary function. yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power for m1 equals to m2 equals to m. We are having one, right? Equal root. This equal root into x. Then yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power 1 into x is e power x. Now let's find particular integral. See, we got 1, 1 roots. So, these two roots are equal and also real, okay? Fine. Now, let's find particular integral. Particular, we'll find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. This is equals to 1 by f of d d squared. Minus 2d plus 1 into q. 1 plus e power minus x whole square. Let's expand this. Which is an a plus b whole square form, right? a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b equals to 1 plus e power minus x whole square. Can be written as e power minus x into e power minus x, right? Now you can add the power. So you'll get minus x minus x e power minus 2x. Right? e power minus 2x plus 2 e power minus x. Or e power minus x whole squared can be written as e power 2 into minus x which is equal to e power minus 2x. Okay? Simply e power minus x whole power n equals to e power minus n into x. Okay? Now, we can replace it by the expansion 1 plus expansion of 1 plus e power minus x whole square is 1 plus e power minus 2x plus 2 e power minus x. Right? Which is equal to 1 by d square minus 2d plus 1 into 1 plus 1 by d square minus 2d plus 1 into e power minus 2x plus 1 by d square minus 2d plus 1 into 2 e power minus x. If you notice, you are having all the q's in e power on ax form. Right? Where a is a real number. Since both the terms have e power ax form, so what we'll do, we'll write this one as e power z, 0 into x. So now we are having yp equals to 1 by f of d into 1 plus 1 by d square minus 2d plus 1 into e power minus 2x plus you can write this term as constant into 1 by f of d into e power minus x. So let's find every term separately.
Okay, let's find the first fraction or first term equals to 1 by d square minus 2d plus 1 into let's write 1 as e power 0 into x right for 0 being real number we are having f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 1 find f of 0 which is equals to 0 square minus 2 into 0 plus 1 equals to 0 minus 0 plus 1 equals to 1 which is not equals to 0 right since f of 0 is not equals to 1 so what we can do we can replace d by 0 okay by replacing d by 0 we won't get the denominator or no empty term oh, sorry a 0 right we should always get the denominator not equals to 0 if we get something equals to 0 in the denominator then the total term becomes undefined okay since by replacing d by 0 we got f of 0 equals to 1 which is not equals to 0 so we can dare to replace d by 0 then you get 0 minus 2 into 0 plus 1 into e power 0 x or simply 1 by f of 0 into e power 0 x okay equals to 1 by 0 minus 0 plus 1 into e power 0 into x which is equals to 1 by 1 into e power 0 x is e power 0 equals to 1 by 1 into 1 by 1 is 1 into e power 0 since e power 0 is 1 then you will get 1 right or here you just replace f of 0 by 1 into e power 0 x is e power 0 we know that e power 1 by 1 is 1 and e power 0 is 1 then you will get 1 right so the value of the first term the result obtained from the first term is 1 now let's find the second one here q is in e power a x form right for a equals to minus 2 which means we are having 1 by f of t into e power a x for a equals to minus 2 which is a real number so we have f of d equals to d square minus 2 d plus 1 let's find f of a for a equals to minus 2 we'll get minus 2 whole square minus 2 into minus 2 plus 1 equals to minus 2 whole square 4 minus into minus plus 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 equals to 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 1 9 not, not equals to 0 since f of minus 2 is not equals to 0 so what we can do we can replace d by minus 2 okay equals to 1 by minus 2 whole square 4 minus of minus 2x we have already done right just write as it is equals to 1 by 9 into e power minus 2x or e power minus 2x by 9 okay therefore is equals to 1 by 9 into e power minus 2x or e power minus 2x by 9. Okay. Now let's find the third one. One by d square minus 2d. I'm just leaving this two, okay? We'll just find 1 by f of d into e power minus x. We have f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 1. Let's find f of minus 1, which is equals to minus 1 whole square, minus 2 into minus 1 plus 1, equals to minus 1 whole square 1, minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2, plus 1, equals to 5, sorry, not 5, 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 
not equal to 0. Since f of minus 1 is not equal to 0, so we can replace d by minus 1. So that we don't get any 0 in the denominator, right? We get only denominator which is not equal to 0. 1 by minus 1 whole square 1 plus 2 plus 1 into e power minus x equals to 1 by 4 into e power minus x or equals to e power minus x by 4. Therefore, 1 by f of d, d square minus 2 d plus 1 into e power minus x equals to e power minus x by 4. Now coming to yb. What's to Result obtained from the first term, 1, plus result obtained from the second term is 1 by 9 into e power minus 2x plus 2 into result obtained from 1 by f of d into e power minus x is e power minus x by 4, 2 1s are 2 2s are, then yp equals to 1 plus 1 by 9 into e power minus 2x plus you are having e power minus x by 2. Also, you can write this as 1 plus 1 by 9 into e power minus 2x. You can just split this as 1 by 2 into e power minus x. Now, we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We have yc c1 plus c2x into e power x plus yp1 plus 1 by 9 into e power minus 2x plus 1 by 2 into e power minus x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.